again at Niagara Falls which is one of the greatest natural wonders of the world and this time I'm not alone I have Ashwam with me she's visiting us from India and one of the best places to show around here in Canada is obviously Niagara Falls and I'll show you all the best places that we explored so come along Iconic Niagara Falls. Are you excited? Yeah, very much. <laughs> and we are actually on the Canadian side, so we are going to see the Horseshoe Falls. This is my second time, but still, you always feel excited when you come again, especially with someone who has not been to Niagara Falls. And this is it. Yes, Niagara Falls is arguably the biggest tourist destination in Ontario, Canada. People from all over the world come to see this magnificent beauty and is a given for any Canadian bucket list whether you're from the country or otherwise. And I must say that the breathtaking view of this humongous falls will leave you in awe. Just a quick little info, Niagara Falls is a collective name given to three separate waterfalls. The main waterfall which is the spectacular Horseshoe Falls lies on the Canadian side while the American Falls and Bridal Wheel are in the territories of the US. We'll also take the boat. So that's the one that we are taking. Exactly, a little bit scared. <laughs> So when you come again with your parents or anyone who's coming from your family, you actually start doing the same things again and again. So mom is taking a picture there. It feels nice. It's like you're living this first few days here in Canada once again, which is so exciting. Right now it's Saranj's mom. And then when my parents also come, when my sister brother, they come, I think we're all going to come at this iconic spot. Throw your hips and your heart into it. We've been here once, but every time we come here, it's a different feeling. So it's actually a long stretch. So if you want to see the falls closely, you have to walk till the very end. We've actually never been towards this side, behind the falls. Let's put aside our differences. Lace up. This is actually unreal. And you know what was the best moment for us? It's this. I don't know how, but you actually get to see the rainbow here every time you go. It looked so magical and we were just all awestruck. Turn the world on a string, turn the winds on a dime, turn the wind to the west. So what do you think, Ashoma? Was it worth coming to Niagara Falls? Ah, it it's such a breathtaking view. Amazing. Just I'm loving it. And also, are you excited to take the boat now? Scared or excited? Very scared of the water. <laughs> we're so close to falls, but now we're going to get very close. And if there's one truly iconic Niagara Falls experience, it's the Niagara City Cruises boat tour. So if you want to get as close as possible to the falls by water, this is the tour to take. Although it's only a 20 minute boat ride, but it will be the most exhilarating 20 minutes of your Niagara Falls experience. Very excited. to go we have to wear this <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so that we don't get all ready all ready to go inside ladies and gentlemen oh. aboard niagara city cruises may i have your attention please all right let's go, let's go. so boat takes you past american falls and circling past the canadian falls but be prepared it's going to get misty especially when you go closer to the horseshoe falls the flow of water here is super intense and you'll be able to feel the rushing waters right before you and the intense mist will drench you from head to toe. Loving it. <laughs> it's definitely a great way to experience the fall's power oh, wow. and majesty. It's an experience guys. She's loving it so much. Now we go into the hall too. Push it, whip it, bring it, earn it, get it, got it. This was the second time doing this, but it was still so much fun. It's a very beautiful experience. If you're coming to Niagara Falls, just don't see it from outside. Come in, 
take this boat tour right here. You are going to love it. This is a must, must, must do, guys. Yeah. Also, a little disclaimer. You get all wet. Take care of your belongings when you come here. Our mom's cab just literally fell. It was so close to going in the water. But thank God, we got it. Oh, it was such a refreshing boat trip. Crazy experience. Also, this is the Skylon Tower. So you can actually go on top of it. I think there's a restaurant up top. But we are not going. I think we are just happy with CN Towers. I'm sure they have some extraordinary views of the falls. Maybe. I don't know. I've not been there. And it was such a perfect weather that day. October is actually a good time to visit the falls. It's not that chilly. Plus, you enjoy all the fall foliage. Next stop, we are looking at the souvenirs here. Just collecting these small tidbits. Maple syrup. 100% Canadian. When you're in Canada, you can't miss that, for sure. If you want to take souvenirs, there are tons of cute little shops around. So, you'll get everything. Mugs, fridge, magnets. And that's what Ashwam is getting. And the next spot is obviously a pizza place. I'm super hungry and I've come to this place called Zappi's. I've heard a lot about this place. Let's see if it's worth the hype. Let's go. Also, it says it's famous stone baked pizza and this is a family owned business. I'm really excited. Let's go. This is so cute. Coca Cola. Oh my. It's such a cute place. I wanted to go to a local spot away from all the chains that you see around Niagara. So, this was definitely worth a visit. Si sa, noi del sud parliamo a voce alta. Si sa, noi del sud facciamo discussione in posta. Siamo allergici alle strisce, di restare in fila non ci riesce neanche ai funerali. Si sa, noi del sud. Cheers to Niagara Falls. Let's go. Looks nice. Let's see if this is worth the hype. It's good. So, I would recommend this place, but I actually built my own pizza because I love a lot of toppings on it. So, I added a lot of veggies, chicken, sausage, hot peppers, very important, and not to miss the garlic sauce. So, if you order all of this, you're going to love it. We are just about to leave, but then I just asked, what's the speciality for desserts? And they said, cheesecake, and this is with cherry sauce. And we are only having this because of our show right here, because she wanted to have cheesecake. Let's indulge. Very nice. Mm, no regrets. This is a must have for sure. 100%. The dessert was to die for. And the next spot is Clifton Hill, which is a very colorful street which is lined up with all the restaurants and a lot of gaming zones as well. I just figured out the Clifton Hill is also called the street of fun by the falls. Oh, Now that's look. interesting. Let's see what all fun can we do tonight on the street. There's a wax museum, fudge factory, ice cream shops, lot of restaurants. There's also go karting, lot of souvenir shops. And we have the biggest Muskoka chair in Niagara Falls. <laughs> And obviously something you cannot miss, Skyview. So yeah, a visit to Niagara Falls would not be complete without visiting the cheesy shops and museums that line the streets. Clifton Hill is more or less the entertainment center of Niagara. From haunted house to bowling and gaming arcades, it's a good place to take a look at no matter what. But particularly if you're traveling with kids, it's a must-see area, especially in the evening when it gets all lit. And this is how it looks in the night. If you're passing by this place, it's definitely worth checking out because it gets all lit with like colorful lights and looks nice. Still a good view, but you can't beat the day view for sure. So it's the next day. Yesterday we got really tired, so we just came back and slept. But today we are going to Niagara on the lake. But right now I'm just getting ready. But I have something very important to keep it in my bag. Something that's so important when you're traveling. 
is this right here. This is actually a very travel friendly perfume. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Scentword. So Scentword is a fragrance subscription service. Could you imagine a monthly subscription for fragrances? Scentword lets you do that. It has reimagined everything about how people discover, shop for, purchase and even experience fragrances. Every month you can try new fragrances for just $17. And actually the ingredients are very nice. Oh my god, this smells like pineapple. Oh, it actually has that. Pineapple, mango, coconut water, sweet agave, exotic flowers and everything nice. Wow. You know with the scent, it always reminds you of something. And with this fragrance, I can think of my graduation days. And for this month, I got three of them. Just Bloom and also Vanilla Sky, which has cappuccino vanilla. Wow, I'm definitely going to love this. I love coffee, you guys know it. And look at the packaging. This is so cool. All you have to do is just lock and unlock. Plus, it has generous amount of fragrance and the size is just perfect. Wow, this is really nice. I think even you can use it. This is actually nice. Do they have men's too? Yes, they have a lot of perfumes and colognes and they have unisex options too. So you won't feel left out. That's pretty cool. It's so convenient when you're traveling. Have this small guy in your pocket and walk around. Yeah. Also, with each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try out fragrances before committing to a full-size bottle that can cost over $150 and sometimes even $300 or $500. Also, the best part, Scentbird carries brands like Gucci, Prada, Versace, as well as indie labels like Skylar, Heretic and Confessions of Rebel. So if you want to try it for yourself, use my code PEEKAPOO to get 55% off at Scentbird, which is just over $7 for your first month. Also, it's not only available in Canada, but also in US and now back to the video. So today's agenda is to visit Niagara on the lake and I'm really excited to visit one of the vineries. We'll also explore the downtown. In the end we'll also go to Niagara premium outlets. I've actually never been there but right now we are at a very beautiful place. This is actually a boutique hotel called Old Stone Inn and they have a restaurant called the Flour Mill. That's where we're going to have breakfast. Enjoying some French press coffee in the morning. This is actually such a cute place. Really nice decor, very countryside, and amazing food. I can't wait to have breakfast here once again. Cheers. Cheers for the coffee. With the morning coffee. He's following with his skillet. Okay. Alright, bon appetit. Enjoy the breakfast. It looks so yummy. Yeah. Wow. Look at these pancakes right here. Can't wait to dig in. Wow. Very soft. I'm done with the breakfast. I loved it. Yes. It was really nice. Sarah. I love the pancakes, guys. They were super soft and very delicious. Yeah. It's a must try. Yeah. I would highly recommend this place. It's really good. So now I'm in downtown at the Niagara on the lake. This is a very cute little town. It's lined up with like two streets. On both the sides, there are a couple of restaurants and small boutique shops. You can always come to this place, have some food, shop around, and that's what we are here for. And look at the names of all the stores here. Cool as a moose. There was another one that I saw. I think it was Owl and the Pussycat. This is so cute. Right, got the maple syrup. 100% this is like pure made in Niagara, which is great. This is such a nice shop if you want to buy caps, hats, gloves for winters. Yeah. Just getting these cute little stores everywhere. Another day, another pizza day. We are having a lot of pizzas. So we just came to this place called Bistro. Sixth one, I'm not too sure. We had no expectations from this place. We were really hungry, so we just walked in. But let's find out. Honestly, I would pass on this one as it wasn't good. So one last stop. Actually, not the last because I have to go somewhere else too. But I just grabbed this ice cream from a gelato shop, which is called Gelato di Carlotta and this is a very popular ice cream place here at Niagara 
on the lake downtown and I got two flavors pistachio and banana let's taste this mmm it actually tastes of fresh bananas nice wow we did some research and it's actually worth it this is actually one of the best ice cream shops in downtown Niagara on the lake also if you're in Niagara and want to shop you can also come to the premium outlets here at Niagara which is called I think the outlet collection at Niagara and this is right where Niagara on the lake is so if you're coming to visit fineries you can always take a break in between shop and then explore some more the best part about this place there are hardly any people when you go to Toronto premium outlets there's so many people but then obviously that's accessible but here there's nobody Sasha mom the entire place is all yours shop as much as you can today going to our first stop I'll take two crunchy then. Got all these assorted truffles. These are really nice. Decide on this bag. This is not for me, but for her. Thank you. Come get it. Thank yeah. you. Got it. Done. So after exploring the cute little town and shopping, we decided to head to wineries, which is a must-do when you are at Niagara on the Lake. Since Niagara on the Lake is a city of wineries, they have over hundred top vineyards and has a very old town charm. Last time when I came here, I visited three wineries: Belle Estates, Trias, Conselman, and did all the wine tasting. But this time, since we were driving back home, we only took a tour of the wineries. We went to the Belle Estates and Two Sisters Vineyards. Both were extremely beautiful, and it was so interesting to see all the grape vines. And I would highly recommend this experience. But make sure to book ahead of time, as it gets sold out pretty soon. And one last stop. Obviously, it has to be coffee. <laughs> That's such a cool quote there. Leaves are falling and coffee is calling. Perfect fall quote. And that brings us to the end of the video. We had a great time at Niagara Falls and Niagara on the Lake as well. Also grabbing this coffee from Victoria Gallery. Let me taste this. We haven't tried from mm. here. Are this is good. Very strong. Just the way I like it. But anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and we had a great time with mom, especially doing all the touristy stuff. Niagara Falls is definitely one iconic spot that you have to visit when your family is coming over to Canada, right? So that's what we did and I hope you did too. So if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, thank you Sendbird for sponsoring this video and for hooking my lovely subscribers with this discount code. I'll leave the links below and I'll see you next time. Bye.